Hi everyone, I'm Madeline. Um, I created this page so uh, people with heart disease or who are going through transplant or who have had a transplant can connect. Um, I want to help a bunch of people. That's my goal with uh, my videos. I want everyone to contact me if they need help or if they need to talk or if they just want to complain. Well, I had my heart transplant because of my heart disease, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which in the simplest form is an enlarged heart. The muscle is too thick to pump uh, the blood through your body. I was diagnosed at the age of one, uh, six months after I started showing symptoms. Uh, when I was diagnosed, uh, the disease was very uncommon, so it took a lot of digging and uh, researching. When I was diagnosed, the doctor said that it was very serious and we needed to do something right away. And he also told my parents not to expect me to live until the age of two. Um, I went to the NIH uh, for treatment, but they only had medicine and it didn't work. Um, my parents were given the option to list me for a heart-lung transplant or to send me to Michigan uh, to Dr. Bouvet for a myectomy, which they cut the heart the thickness of the heart out and my parents chose the myectomy um, when we were or when my parents went to talk to the doctor they asked how many have you done because he was a specialist and he answered that he's only done three so I was the fourth person to get the surgery um, I came out of that surgery in complete heart block so I went back in for a new mitral valve and a uh, pacemaker and I recovered from that surgery well. I did normal one-year-old things. Um, uh, in the year, years following, I had to get a new mitral valve because I grew out of my old one, a new pacemaker because the battery died. And then down after that, um, I got a defibrillator because my doctor was con concerned about me going into cardiac arrest because of my disease. Um, life with uh, HCM is extremely difficult. You're constantly beat down, your heart doesn't want to work, you're tired, fatigued, and your lips are constantly a nice shade of blue. Uh, people always would tell me, wow, your lips look really blue, and I would just be like, yeah, I know, it's nothing new. Um, the summer of my freshman year, my ovary ruptured because of a cyst, and if you don't know what the worst pain is, that would be it. Um, I take pain very well, but that I could not handle. Uh, that put me on life support. I didn't. I barely made it through that uh, whole episode. And while that whole thing happened, I got a clot on my mitral valve. So on top of being on life support and my ovary rupturing, the clot on my mitral valve. Um, I only made it because I really stayed strong. And the next summer, I had a small stroke. I didn't have any lasting effects, thank God. Um, I my left side just went completely numb. Um, it was super scary, and they just watched me overnight for that. Uh, living a normal day as was, I mean, completely hard and miserable. It's like the days never ended, and uh, you never get enough sleep. I fought through that until September 17th of this year, 2013. Not this year because it's 2014. But anyways, um, and my doctor told me that I was in heart failure and he wanted to give me a biventricle defibrillator. Um, I was admitted to the hospital and they had to put me on the heparin drip because of my Coumadin, because of my mitral valve. Um, it always takes me a good week to uh, get therapeutic on heparin because I never like to cooperate. And then the surgery took 12 hours because my old um, defibrillator was just tangled and muscle and it was most definitely almost impossible to get out. Um, I recovered from that and I um, got to go home uh, about a week later and I only got to enjoy home for a day because the pocket where my defibrillator was filled up with blood. It was a huge bump. It was like a third boob. I bet nobody can say that. Um, so I was remitted remitted and they cleaned it out. Um, and by the time my heparin was therapeutic after that, I was still not getting better. So they decided to meet with the transplant team and I was put on the list. And I was officially on the list on October 22nd. 
while I was waiting, I didn't really feel like I was waiting for something as big as a heart transplant. Uh, the nurses were so great. They would come in my room and hang out with me for as long as they could. Um, they would just joke around with me. Um, I got super close to a couple for how long I was there. And it's really difficult getting close to nurses and then becoming your friend and then you not being able to keep in contact with them because of the hospital rules. I think that should most definitely change because kids like me, they don't connect with people their own age. I have a very difficult time because they just don't understand everything. And the nurses do, and they want to be your friend. I just can't. Um, I waited 10 days for my heart. Um, my doctor came in around 5 uh, in the evening and told me that my I had a heart, and I was so excited but confused. I I don't I didn't know how to react. And my mom actually went home just a few hours before that uh, because. She wasn't going to stay the night my dad was, but she had to come back, and she brought my sister. Um, my sister was so nervous for me, but really I wasn't nervous. I don't get nervous for any um, procedures, uh, even a heart transplant. Um, and then, since it's Halloween, um, my si like my friends that are actually my sister's friends came um, after they went trick or treating. Um, and they spent a good while with me, and then they were going to go to the waiting room to sleep until my heart came. Uh, everyone was fine with it, the nurses, but there was this one nurse that it wasn't okay with. It made me so upset that my friends and my sister couldn't stay. But my sister could stay, but she didn't want to stay in the room by herself, so she came back the morning that I got my heart. Um, what else? Uh, and so I got my heart on November 1st, and I recovered very quickly. I got out of the hospital on November 17th, and I'm just so thankful for my gift. It's made my extremely hard life so easy. Even all the doctor's appointments and all the new meds, so much easier than just feeling like crap all the time. Um, I thank my donor every day. I can't wait to meet um, my donor's family one day. Um, I'm just so incre incredibly thankful. Um, thanks for watching. I'll post more videos uh, when I think of things to share with you or complain about. Um, but thanks. Stay strong.